Hi guys. I uh, wanted to do this video because actually this was for somebody that uh, that well actually had uh, discussed with me uh, earlier in another video uh, oh, about a few weeks or so ago and uh, they were wanted to recap what I had discussed in regards to the first and second beast of Revelation and their uh, uh, what they are going to do in, in the end times uh, here in the future and uh, it was something else too I wanted to thank uh, M from Canada one her name is also Traders Beware uh, she also uh, had a link uh, to this and um, and I was also wanting to comment on this too and uh, in regards to what I am working on uh, in um, the chrono uh, chronological uh, events that are to take place uh, in regards to the uh, first beast which is the false prophet and the second beast which is to be a charismatic world leader as we call uh, the Antichrist or as uh, some of them call it uh, another another Christ another Jesus Christ which is a false Christ um, uh, okay well let me get started here uh, what this article was about in from Canada one um, all to oh, forget I'm sorry I also want to thank DP Oil Disaster too for his videos because I also found something that ties into all this and what they're doing down there in the Gulf and you're probably wondering well what does this have to do with the Vatican and uh, and what they're doing down there in the Gulf well the Vatican is t really tied into all this really and uh, and since it is mentioned in Revelation uh, what because they were going to rule the whole world uh, at their, uh, during this during this time uh, about where they are going to well deceive the whole nations really and they're going to deceive people take and have them to take the mark of the beast and so on uh, so I'll, I'll get started here uh, and I think uh, if I missed anyone I do apologize uh, but I, I better get started on this um, Okay, what this article was about is that the Vatican's claim that they were revealing an original Bible text and uh, what it really said in it. But my my take on this is that uh, it's a bunch of lies that they're trying to tell people. They're trying to uh, keep people from the truth. And... Um, uh, what this article is is that this librarian for the Vatican says that they had revealed this book which he said he had translated for the Vatican publisher 19 books of the Bible from an ancient Hebrew text of the now part of my pronunciation is, is Biblica he Hebraica uh, Stuttgartensia <laughs> that's about as good as I can I can uh, pronounce that. There are uh, three videos here uh, that explains uh, what they had revealed and what they had found and it began in the book of Genesis is that it was written that a group of individuals called the Elohim made man with a genetic engineering intervention by mixing their own DNA okay with the DNA of primates goodness gracious oh Lord have mercy on us uh, in the Bible there was even a specific word that refers to the DNA and so uh, this Hebrew word was uh, Shittim and that's T S E L E M okay and he found the correct translation correct what well, he thought it was but I'm going to show you something here shortly uh, says the Elohim which is plural 
which is more than one God, more than one God, a God's, let us make man in our likeness, using that thing that contained our image. And the thing that contains our image is the shilim, which means some, something material which contains the image and which had been cut off from, and so on. Well, I'll just leave this page. I'm going to get on to the, what I had found uh, regarding this word in Hebrew. Uh, my suggestion from this point on is, guys, make sure you study. Don't take my word for anything. Don't take anybody's word for it, not even mine. The, the Bible says study and approve yourself worthy. In the, it's in the New Testament. You have to study the scripture and uh, do cross-reference when you when you study uh, get a good um, a dictionary translation in the Greek and in Hebrew anything that you can find I mean examine it turn it upside down I mean do what you have to to find the truth because do not listen especially to the Vatican because the Vatican is a satanic church they're not even a church they're a, a cult and this is something else I wanted to get into uh, also what I found um, but anyway that the word here they, they claim here uh, it was found 17 times in the Old Testament and uh, even the uh, liberal interpreters d dictionary of the Bible which goes to great length to saying it amidst that the concrete form and physical resemblance must be considered for Genesis uh, first chapter 26 27 perhaps we may conclude that while most of the thought that there is an external resemblance between God and man may be present Ezekiel who was a priest has it and this was in volume 2, page uh, 684. Um, the scripture cannot be broken, and they do not contradict one another. They have to grudgingly admit that it is there in the Bible. Man looks like God. And continuing the quote, however, cautiously, he states it. Uh, for example, P stands for priestly and one of the four different groups of people who edited the Bible seems to have reached a measure of abstraction. But anyway, let me see if we get down here. Uh, okay, the same consistency is shown with the word likeness in the Hebrew which is demuth, D-E-M-O-O-T-H which means model, shape, fasten, uh, similitude and which means sim or similar and bodily resemblance now note in Genesis 5 uh, verses 1 and 3 this is the book of the genealogy of Adam in the day that God created man he made him in the likeness of God and then the word the Hebrew word is demuth d-e-m-o-o-t-h Okay, and Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness, Demoth, after his image, and named him Seth. So you remember that story? Okay, if it is used for God in Genesis 1:26, God's creation of man is in his image, then we see it's here in Genesis 5, 1 and 3. Uh, do we not have to apply the same um, discernment of what God intends? And the word demuth also appears in Isaiah 40:18 and Ezekiel uh, chapter 1, 5. Uh, cha I mean, sorry, verses 5, verses 10, 13, 16, 22, 26, 28, and chapters 10 in the same book, uh, Ezekiel. Uh, chapter 10 verses 1 and, and 22 and when we begin to study the whole s subject we begin to understand why the interpreters had to say that Ezekiel showed man in physical resemblance to God 
Now that doesn't say anything about an 8, does it? Uh, that's why you have to be very careful about what you're looking for and what, who you're actually basically who you're you're listening to. Um, okay, uh, next one. I think I'm running out of time here. If I am, um, well, I'll continue the next one because it's important that uh, I need to discuss this. But the Lord warned us that in the end time there would be deceptions uh, and lies. There would be such a, a great lie that will be told by the Antichrist that even the best of Christians would de be deceived. Okay? So, we have to be very careful. I am leaning on Jesus. I am relying on Jesus. I don't care what the lie is or anything. I, I know my Lord and my Lord and Savior and and that's I mean I'm not going to believe anything else because we're living in the time guys of great deception and and many lies and we just have to be very careful and just just be careful who you listen to um, this article was on the secret societies and uh, it gets into a lot what let's see where do I want this to start with this maybe I have to stop here no I don't <laughs> because it goes way back I mean way back uh, even before the time of Jesus um, where you know where when um, the Israelites were carried away like to Babylon it tells about how the uh, Talmud was first formed and um, the Gemara and uh, lots of history and then it gets into when we get to the New Testament about false prophets in the in the days of uh, when the Apostle Paul and, and Barnabas uh, uh, and Silas were um, expanding the gospel at that time. Uh, they had confronted uh, men and false prophets. Uh, one, this is in the book of Acts, uh, if you want to know what I'm referring to. Uh, they went to a place which was called uh, Paphos, P S P A P H O S, which sounds very close to the uh, papacy which is uh, in Rome and there was a false prophet there which he calls his name Bar Jesus and that's translated as the son of Jesus and he was a Jewish sorcerer and uh, they were going around um, basically trying to uh, get people to get away from the faith what uh, Paul and his friends were were preaching at the time and they also met up with uh, uh, Elimus um, doesn't that sound uh, a lot like Illumin, Illuminati well he was also a sorcerer and uh, he also opposed them he also Paul opposed the apostle Paul and Barnabas Silas and um, so they actually they were all basically I was saying they were all um, perverting the word of God at that time also and this is really long and it, it is basically most of the uh, history of these secret societies and how they got started so I'm going to uh, leave a link to this and uh, I ho hopefully you guys will read this and get a better understanding about what is going on uh, with the, the end time uh, uh, events that are happening in Revelation in regards to the Vatican. I am getting at the end of this uh, video so I, uh, I'll probably be at part two. So I will see you over there in, in part two. Y'all take care. Bye.